What's going on everyone? This is Tay Man Gaming with another Bloodborne update for you guys. Trying to keep all the Bloodborne news flowing like the Mississippi. We gotta keep it going. Nine days left. Next thing up is a free Bloodborne PS4 theme for you guys and a new interactive trailer on the Sony site. The link is in the description and the code is in the video and also in the description for both US and EU players. Looking out for both of you guys. And there's a lot of new information on the site also. You can check out this bestiary. See a few little updates as far as uh, some of the bosses and well only two bosses so not too many spoilers it's the same two bosses we've seen already so don't be alarmed uh some of the visuals are just so so nice i'm gonna click on some of these so you can see the details i, I just i just can't wait i know the uh the videos and and pictures usually just don't serve it justice like some of these games i've been playing on ps4 and even some of the games i've been seeing on pc and xbox have been so detailed lately so i mean just look at that look at that that looks fantastic i'm so excited so definitely pick up the theme um there's been a few people to pick up the game through various means maybe they have a gamestop hookup or they own a store and they they have the game already you know they got to ship it out to the stores so that they can put them on the shelves and add them to the inventory and all that good stuff so there's a few people that actually have the game and have beat the game some people have said it's been about uh, around 45 plus hours and they found about 14 weapons so that's a little better and you know it's still going to be a lot of secrets even with that so we can stop worrying about that um 45 plus hours that's not bad that's really not bad as you can see from um the bestiary and the weapons we've seen there's just a couple weapons here but there's also a detailed description of the chalice dungeons it's actually worth looking at this playstation um interactive trailer and just this particular website you can see a lot of detail on the chalice dungeons i think what uh from soft is trying to do is trying to ex extend the life of the game I i've seen miyasaki talk about it before and the chalice dungeons is what's definitely going to do that um uh, what i would like to know is will you be able to invade people while they're playing the chalice dungeons oh ho, ho. now if you could do that that will definitely make it more difficult but with the random um the random generation and being able to share them with friends i think that's gonna really really extend the life of the game so i wouldn't worry about that 45 plus hour time and if pvp is done right you know that's hundreds and hundreds of hours spent on pvp just learning all the ins and outs and trying to be the next mlg pro evo champion evo bloodborne world champion <laughs> So, uh, hopefully this time around, maybe they can uh, balance it out enough and we will have more, uh, some real tournaments sponsored by From, From Software maybe in the future? If not, uh, I know a lot more people in the uh, Souls community will be working together for tournaments uh, and maybe make them actually worth playing. Uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of people just want to do it for fun, but yeah, there's a lot more things that you can... Uh, motivate people to actually play pvp competitively for the the bad thing about dark souls 2 and dark souls 1 and those games like that is it's hard to be able to referee i guess you would say make sure that people aren't entering the tournament with you know souls uh characters that are over leveled and just all kind of cheap cheesy stuff so hopefully we can um get some things ironed away on that and if you guys have been watching all this time then there is a bonus i don't think i'm gonna make a se separate video for this since it's so quick but i want to tell you guys this information there will be no more souls memory shenanigans yes i found that out it will be based on your level again so much hate for that soul memory thing or in this game blood echoes then uh, yeah they finally changed it and it's going to be based on your level so all you guys can rejoice you don't have to worry about soul memory anymore or blood echoes so really excited about that um, as you can see from the video uh, there's still a lot 
of information to uh, to soak in. Right now, we're at the time since a lot of people actually have. I won't say a lot, but there's still some people out there that actually have the game and have beat the game already. All the things I can say without spoiling it for you guys is everybody is extremely excited. Everybody's saying that you guys are gonna love it. I can't wait for the you know the online to be uh, started. So the, the bad thing is day one you're gonna have a lot of people that are seriously leveled with all types of uh, experience in the game, but that's just part of it. I wouldn't worry about it too much. You can always shut your system off and and. Um, well, not such, such a system off, but just turn your network off and, and play offline if you need to. I mean, whatever works. You know, just got to get it done. So we've seen this picture before in uh, one of my previous videos. But um, I thought that the dog boss that they showed in the Chalice Dungeon, I thought that was um, like a major boss. But from the description, it's just a, a guardian. <laughs> so as a guardian, like... Okay, well, I, I could be jumping to conclusions. We'll see on the 24th. But it looks like it's just going to be a boss that, that's just kind of run of the mill. You're definitely going to fight at least one each time. But I would say maybe there's going to be dragons at the end of Chalice Dungeons. I don't know. I don't know. You got to have some kind of dragon. They always have dragons in these games. So, might be one in the regular story mode. Who knows? I'm excited. I just can't, I, I just really can't wait. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys can feel it through your mic, through your speakers, the excitement in my voice, the excitement, the energy that's flowing around me. I, I just really can't, can't wait. Um, but definitely be careful with what you guys read. There's so many spoilers out there right now. It's taking all of my energy not to read stuff and you know skim through things and if I see something that says oh yeah this blah blah go oh yeah block it out and skip on but yeah you, you've got weapons and all kind of pictures and stuff out there so be careful what you're looking at um, if you guys actually want me to spoil it for you then I will take that plunge and, and upload some stuff for you because I love you love you love you guys love you so I'll do that if you really want me to um, I've been finding all kind of stuff. People have just been up uploading and they really don't give a you-know-what. Um, there's actually a 45-minute playthrough or a let's play that's floating around out there. That I would not upload to my channel since, um, yeah, YouTube might slam me for that one or Sony or From Software. So we don't want that. We don't want any negative backlash. But as far as stuff that they've released and... Maybe a few little things here and there. So, you know, bend the rules, cross that line just a little bit. Maybe dip, dip your toe over the edge just a little bit. Yeah, I'll do that. But hopefully, guys, are uh, really appreciating all this good stuff. If you want me to do more, I will definitely do that. And make sure you have pre ordered. I think um, some of the places are actually running out. And if they run out, you can always get the digital version. But something tells me to get the the uh, physical copy. I'm going to see if I can get the uh, collector's edition when I go to GameStop tomorrow. And see you guys later. Take it easy.